people assume, not everyone, but they assume that the right way to drink a really good bourbon is neat. You hear this all the time, neat straight up. Uh, maybe, maybe upon exception, a drop or two of water. Sometimes they'll bring out an eyedropper just for a drop or two of water. And, and, and Julian does that sometimes with his pappy because the flavors are so concentrated. All right. What happened to Freddie was this. Uh, I'm taking care of my dad. He starts his chemo treatments. And uh, he was so happy that I came back. We would do a toast every evening. He'd say, let's do a toast to the almighty. Another day of us being on this earth together. Okay, dad. So one evening I poured him a drink of his favorite bourbon, which was the stag. And he gets it up to his nose and he gives me a funny look. And he says, well, what are we drinking tonight, old man? And I realized he didn't recognize his own favorite bourbon. Right. And a few, a few days prior to that, um, he had gotten so he wouldn't eat his dinner. And he would take a sip or two of his tea and then, and he, and he was, he just wasn't eating. And he would give, he would always give me this little funny smell. And when he tastes his food, he, and he said, I, I don't think I want anything to eat tonight. Now I'm gonna tell you how crazy this is. So I discovered I could take diet Pepsi of all things and I would mix it with his tea and he could drink his tea and what he would do to eat. He would take a big gulp of this mixture of the tea and the Diet Pepsi. He'd take a big gulp of that and he would stick the food in his mouth and he would chew it up and he would eat it. I'm like, well, I'd be darn, what's going on here? <clears throat> so uh, I talked to the oncologist and she said, Freddie, what actually happens with some of these medications and when you start radiation treatments, it, change, it heightens your sense of smell. You can't stand to have something greasy frying in the skillet. It just makes you sick to your stomach. Uh, it also gives you a metallic taste in your mouth. And she said, what you did? She said, I wish other people had done things like this. That mixture of the tea and the Diet Pepsi chemically neutralized the metallic taste and allowed my dad to eat his, deal, eat his dinner. Now, here's what I did. So being the wise and brilliant young man that I am, Grease, I said, well, here, Dad, give me that glass back. Let me make you another drink. <laughs> so I take the glass, go in another room dump some damn Diet Pepsi in there, put some ice in there with it, stir it around, and I bring it back. And I said, here, Dad, try this one. See if you like this one better. He brings it up to his nose. Will, he looks at me, and he smiles. And he takes a sip of it, and he says, Freddie, I can drink this one. I can drink this one. And I said, Dad, I said, it's the same hooch. I just dumped some Diet Pepsi in there with it. I still remember what he said to me. His comment to me was, it doesn't matter, son. I said, I beg your pardon? He said, Freddie, it doesn't matter what you mixed it with. What's important is I get to have another drink with you. Mm. He said, that's what's important. He said, as you walk around that distillery, he said, never lose sight of the fact that there will always be old barrels and bottles of bourbon. He said, but we're not going to always be on this earth together. He said, so if you're blessed enough to have a good bottle, don't worry about how your friends drink it. He said, make a memory because that's why you bought it out. But make it a happy memory. 